was three days before Christmas. Even the birds were excited. Our dog, Miss Daisy, was extremely delighted. Yet daughter Frederica was nestled all snug in her bed, while visions of high fashions danced in her head. Mama worked a crossword held in her lap, while I settled down for my afternoon nap. When out on the drive, the storm made such a clatter. I sprang from the couch to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, pushed open the draperies and threw up the sash. The rain coming down on the gravel below gave a dreary aspect to the scenery below. When what to my wandering eye should I see but a scene that brought joy to little old me? My son's family arrived, Curtis, grandson Dante, and wife Stephanie. Long dreary trip meant some happy times and gives us an excuse to put an end to these rhymes. And of course this arrival started a big love in. Where's everybody? Oh boy, oh boy, where is Grandma Christine grabbed grandson Dante. Get it. Daughter Frederica gave sister-in-law Stephanie a hug, and son Curtis got a big hug from his mom. Oh, Grandpa Rich tried to get a kiss him, but the boy escaped. <laughs> Did you have a nice ride? Nice ride. Kurt tells it best. We left stormy Sacramento at 6 a.m., and for six hours drove through pouring rain, hail, wind, and traffic. 360 miles till we arrived here in McKinleyville. But we got here safely and we're all together at last. First off, Dante had to show off his muscles. And his parents brought along a small bag of toys to keep him busy. The storm was still rumbling outside, so naturally we watched movies. Three-year-old Dante treated us to his version of Yellow Submarine. Or how about an imitation of Mick Jagger? And his dad is teaching him how to play the drums. Like his grandfather and father, he's a big ham. <laughs> there was a bit of fun before dinner. Christmas Day was going to be uh, Kurt's mom's 71st birthday, and so he wanted to celebrate, so they took her and the family out to dinner at the Moonstone Grill. And yes, it was still raining. Curtis treated us to a feast. There was lobster, filet mignon, uh, duck breast, uh, you name it. It was an excellent dinner and a gourmet restaurant. The next couple of days are pretty ordinary, so we'll skip to Christmas morning. And here we are, nice, bright and early, waiting for the Christmas boy. What child doesn't become excited by Christmas? And here comes Dante, he's no exception. Wiggle tracks, anyone? Here's how it works. A neat little thing. <laughs> Dante's a dinosaur fan, and Santa brought him one. Finally, we all settled down to opening packages. There were practical gifts, <laughs> some not so practical, and very practical, generous presents of good old money.
so much for Christmas morning, and later on there was Christmas dinner. So look at the baby. Our first guest to arrive was Mr. Dante Anthony Hardaway. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nana. Happy birthday to you. The guest of honor had also prepared the dinner, which was a prime rib and all the fixings. It was delicious. For dessert, there was a rich chocolate cake with candy flowers and another chorus of happy birthday to Christine. So this was our Christmas farewell. They were leaving early in the morning and we probably wouldn't see them again until March when they move into their new home.